Today, I'd like to introduce you to the must-have new Skyrim mod series. And first up, let's explore some visual mods that include magic. Holy Templar Magic is a mod that adds six light-themed spells to Skyrim. According to the creator, these spells are particularly effective against undead creatures like Draugr. When cast, they emit a golden yellow glow, dealing damage to the undead or summoning a magical shield. Some spell tomes can be acquired from restoration magic vendors, while others can be found in the Dawnguard Tower with quite spectacular visual effects. If you appreciate magical effects similar to those seen in videos, this mod is definitely worth trying out. Next up is Stacks of Septum's 3D Coin Piles. This mod enhances the representation of coin stacks by giving them a more dynamic 3D appearance. Unlike the previous 2D coin piles with rudimentary textures, this mod utilizes high-definition textures to add depth, making the coin stacks feel more realistic. Next up is Skyking Signs. This mod provides new meshes and textures for shop and inn signs. The signs react as if they are swaying in the wind and have been freshly painted. The material can be set to either wood or metal. If you like the signs in this video, feel free to download and use them now. Next up is Skyrim Half Faces Diverse Common Table Square. This mod replaces the basic table model with a more diverse and appealing one using the base object swapper. There is no ESP file, and only the textures and meshes are changed, making it safe to install and uninstall at any time. It enhances a total of 10 different common tables, providing a variety of options. Whether you're staying in an inn or exploring a building, this mod aims to create a fresher and more immersive experience. In this segment, we're excited to introduce several animation mods. And first up is Player Character Gestures. This mod enables player characters to use gestures while conversing with NPCs. It operates based on the Open Animation Replacer Dialog plugin, and most gestures vary depending on who the character is talking to and, most importantly, the quality of their relationship. While there have been numerous gesture mods for NPCs, player gestures seem to be a novel introduction with this mod. We encourage you to enhance the diversity of your conversations by adding various gestures. Next up is the Black Desert Online Guardian Battle Axe MCO ADXP moveset. This moveset, currently under development by the creator Creme Brule, is specifically designed for the Battle Axe. It skillfully captures the heavy swinging motion of the axe, including the subtle nuances of speed when striking down and retrieving the axe. I find it particularly appealing. Not only does it cover attack motions, but dodge motions have also been developed. When I combined this moveset with Kremble's one-handed axe motion using the dynamic grip mode I introduced earlier, it allowed for a more seamless transition between one-handed and two-handed axe movements. Although still a work in progress, it's quite noteworthy, and that's why I'm featuring it in this video. Next up is the ADXP MCO Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Machete Moveset for NPCs. This moveset draws inspiration from the Dual Blade Soldiers in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and adds it to Skyrim. The primary motion in this moveset involves bending the upper body and wielding a weapon with one hand. In my case, I applied this moveset to Mihail's Goblin Race, and it seems to fit quite well. To apply this moveset to the Goblin Race, follow the steps shown in the video, delete the existing conditions, and adjust the settings to match those in the video. Since Mihail's Goblins use a humanoid skeleton, I was able to apply this moveset successfully. Why not try applying it to a specific race in a similar manner as shown in the video? Next up is the ADXP MCO DMC5 Silver Knight moveset for NPCs. This mod add moveset inspired by the Silver Knight from Devil May Cry 5. Its most prominent feature appears to be the use of a shield, which sets it apart. Personally, I believe it would be more fitting for creature NPCs that use humanoid skeleton rather than for human characters. In my case, 
I applied this move set to the ancient skeletons in the Skeletal Revenants creature mod and captured footage. I found it quite appealing, especially the charging attack animations. If you find the motion in the video to your liking, I encourage you to give it a try as well. In this segment, we'll introduce a few SKSE plugin related mods. First up is the Save Game Max Size Plus SKSE mod. This mod utilizes SKSE to expand the maximum size of save files. The vanilla game's save file maximum capacity is 64 Melden I, and using the Engine Fixes mod doubles this to 128 Melder Bars. However, the Save Game Max Size Plus SKSE mod further doubles the capacity extended by Engine Fixes, effectively increasing the save file size. Please remember that if you are using the Engine Fixes mod, you must set the Save Game Max Size setting to false to use this mod. Next up is Toggle UI. This mod allows users to hide the HUD, providing functionality without relying on the TM console command. By pressing the F6 key, the UI is hidden, and pressing it again will bring the UI back. As an SKSE plugin, this mod does not require an ESP, which means it can be safely installed or uninstalled during gameplay. It's particularly useful for taking screenshots or when you desire a more immersive gaming experience. If you like this feature, give it a try. Additionally, while not the latest mod, TFC Hotkey is a mod that would complement the previously mentioned mods well. This mod is a simple ESL-flagged mod for Skyrim, adding an MCM menu that allows you to set a hotkey for the toggle-free camera console command, known as TFC. Through the MCM, you can easily assign a hotkey to activate or deactivate the free camera mode, and even set a hotkey for the TFC1 command, which freezes time. This provides the convenience of freely manipulating the camera during gameplay by assigning the keys of your choice. Although the mods introduced earlier do not support complex movements such as vertical navigation, the Free Fly Cam mod is necessary for such camera movement capabilities. This mod offers various additional features when the TFC mode is activated. For instance, you can rotate the camera horizontally using the Q and E keys and reset the roll angle and starting position with the R key. The mouse wheel adjusts the FOV, and holding down the L-Shift key applies a speed multiplier. The mod includes gamepad support and provides several convenience features, such as automatically locking camera controls when the game menu is open and the game is paused. Additionally, the mod configuration file allows for customization of key bindings and speed multipliers. This is particularly useful for taking screenshots or creating in-game videos, so I highly recommend giving it a try. Lastly, I'd like to introduce the Dawn Warrior Armor, the official uniform of the Heartbow Rangers. This mod adds a women's light armor made of leather. The brown leather and straps are striking, and the blue skirt complements the leather quite well. The skirt supports physics effects, making the outfit look great on both players and NPCs. You can acquire this outfit through the console or the Additum mod, which would be good to keep in mind. And that wraps up our showcase of must-have Skyrim mods for March 2024. We hope you found some great additions to enhance your gaming experience. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time with more essential mods to keep your adventures in Skyrim fresh and exciting. Until then, happy modding!